Hello everyone, here is Girali, your favorite Polish Madlet. So in today's episode we are doing some uh, player tags name and we doing some devs for the players. So let's see what we've done. Uh, so this episode you can see that we have a Joe and a, we have a Linus here. Because they are friends, you know, because they are the same team. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, go to uh, this one here. Yeah, you can see. Uh, so one of them is the server. I think this is this one. Uh, no, this is not this one. I forget which one is the server. This one is the server. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, sorry for that. And uh, you can see that uh, when we kill someone, like here, he dies and he drops his weapons. And we can take them. And you can see that we have bugs of collision with weapons. That because they cleave through uh, the ground. But it's not very important. We will correct it soon. So yeah. Uh, so have a good uh, view uh, wing of the episode. So to begin with this tutorial today. Let's uh, start by going to our canvas in the menu scene. And let's add here an input field that will be our username like so and here let's just change the size and the position of the overall thing come on like so yay thanks okay let's change the color because it's uh, getting very uh, very very aggressive here and yeah so now we have this done let's head to the network manager and let's add what we need to add in here in order to have our username uh, we need to reference the username uh, input field and in the awake we need simply to uh, get this uh, freaking uh, name and to send it to the input field. Next, what we have is to replace the connect function by this in order to be sure that the input field is uh, filled with something. I will not uh, dedicate any episode about doing a correct input field that uh, that uh, is, uh, that is uh, you know, uh, sure that you have your input done correctly. Uh, actually for your name so here uh, what we going to do with the app manager we will transform it to a singleton a singleton is simply a, um, a architecture of uh, uh, oriented object uh, programmation uh, in which you uh, have a class that uh, have only one instance and that you can get from anywhere you are uh, so here we are sure that we have one instance because it's done this for a load and it's an app manager so it's a simpler way to simply get uh, things like the username like so so here, uh, what we are going to do is pretty simple. Uh, we're going simply to use the player prefs in order to get uh, it uh, done fast. And here you can see that we are using it correctly uh, here to re uh, replenish the, the thing. So let's head to the player setup and in here, Let's head to the bottom of it and uh, let's uh, in the um, race spawn player event, let's just simply get the app manager current dot username. So we get the username, we send it to the server and the server will create a token with the player name uh, based on the event. Uh, uh, variable player name that we have sent uh, so yeah 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 very good uh, so this is it for the player name um, mainly for the code uh, so uh, what's the best um, place 
to um, to add the player name. It's pretty simple. It's uh, over the player. Simple as that. Uh, so here, what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to add a little uh, thing like this, and we're gonna put it on top of the player, like so. Yeah, yeah. And in here, we're gonna name this tag name or name tag, better name tag, like so. And in here, we're gonna simply add a empty that will name name and we're gonna use something that maybe you don't use so often a text mesh that uh, can hold any text uh, in the 3d space uh, so in here to make sure that everything is looking good we can simply uh, uh, use the player uh, reference here to see how it's looking and yeah it's looking not so bad let's just simply put it over the head like so to be sure that everything looks fine yeah i really like this and yeah in some next episode we will do uh, that this uh, is turning to the correct camera and everything don't worry it's uh, pretty basic uh, so yeah let's uh, remove this render and just simply uh, copy this and put it on the medic and put it over the pair and on the soldier like so same zero one zero like so and now let's head to the player render because what's the best place to simply have uh, the player render done? So here is pretty simple what we're gonna do. We're gonna simply reference uh, the text mesh that we have on our player. And in the case that we are not uh, the controller, we're gonna simply add this text here. Uh, so as a player you will not see your name tag as a, as a, the other player uh, based on if you are the enemy or not we will activate this part of the of the player and of course we will assign a color based on it uh, so yeah pretty simple uh, and here now we are ready oh no uh, i know uh, so uh, let's uh, let's go to the heavy now and let's simply add the mesh render here uh, the uh, text mesh in order to be sure that everything's work finally so on three of our references of our players classes whatever so very good very good uh, so now we are sure that uh, this part works uh, now we can do something else uh, which can be simply the death of the player who don't loves when uh, you can kill someone yeah i know i love too uh, so let's head to the player state and in here let's add a new uh, variable that will be a variable uh, in the state a uh, boolean one and this one uh, will be is dead is dead will simply give the callback uh, to our player callback that will help us know if we kill the player or not so knowing that the uh, default uh, value is uh, is false we will need it to set it to true when we spawn, spawn the player of course uh, so in here let's just simply head to the uh, uh, so let's head to the player controller in here and let's just simply add some new callback so like so 
and of course like i said if you are the owner we need to set this to true uh let's uh continue by uh adding uh the update uh for the live state so dev state and here let's add the reference of the player render in her player callback like so uh, so let's check uh, what we need in here uh, we need three functions on def on each uh, player uh, step so in the player motor we will start by simply adding this little this little on def function in which we will need to add another another two functions in the in the player mo uh, in the player network uh, uh, rigid body because this uh, will help us to set the rigid body to is kinetic or not uh, because otherwise the collision will be detected by the player and everything don't worry we will correct some bugs that we are implementing in this episode like uh, collision uh, between players even even uh, when they are dead etc etc uh, so don't worry about that you don't need to put comments about uh, the uh, collision that um, stays on the players so here when we when the player dies uh, the player motor will simply disable or enable the network rigid body the network rigid body will be charged of uh, simply uh, changing the kinetic state of the rigid body uh, itself so let's continue and let's go back to the player mo uh, player callback so in the player callback uh, now on the on def we need the render part so the render part is pretty simple uh, it will be composed like this if we are dead we will as a controller activate the scene camera and uh, of course each time we are dead we will disactivate the current camera of uh, this player we will disactivate the mesh rendering and the text mesh we can add another uh, thing here that is the uh, weapon view like so and the weapon view uh, here uh, that game object that set active false will be simply the uh, holder of her weapons so same thing here if we are alive we will respawn this little thing and put it as true and if we are alive this means that we reactivate the camera as a player uh, as a controller or, or the owner if we have the con uh, uh, the, the control over this uh, this uh, player uh, we will uh, disactivate this in camera and of course if uh, we don't have the control we reactivate the mesh rendering and we will uh, reactivate uh, if we are uh, not the enemy uh, the text mesh and uh, reassign the uh, mesh rendering because we have a problem with that when we die sometimes the uh, team is not with the collect color uh, I don't know why so uh, that's it for the player rendering uh, and now let's go to the player weapon player weapon will be some tough part because now we will need um, to change some uh, thing in the player weapon as you can see now the drop weapon will have the uh, how we can call it uh, a state in which uh, we'll know what to drop yeah i think so uh, let's let's uh, let's simply explain what is it it is so now the drop weapon uh, we will pass it a uh, value uh, which will says who we drop simply uh, so let's go to the drop 
here and let's let's talk about it so now we uh, give to him the uh, to remove weapon we check if it's not none so this way we are sure we are not dropping anything uh, that we don't need to drop and here uh, of course if the uh, this is the primary we are gonna remove it from the primary slot and if we are the secondary we will remove it from the secondary slot here in the remove weapon we will need to add some little thing uh, now it's this uh, four little lines that will help to uh, simply remove it from uh, the rest of uh, all of this uh, so you can see that we have now uh, a little problem here uh, because uh, when we are dropping the current weapon we are we were dropping just based on the index now we just replace uh, the uh, index by uh, this so pretty simple pre very uh, I, for me it's very simple i think uh, for you uh, it can be too uh, so here i'm pretty sure that we are all done with uh, here with in here uh, so let's check just if we don't miss anything no i don't think so so here uh, on death when we are uh, alive uh, no, we uh, when we are dead, sorry, and we are the controller or the owner, we will drop every weapon that we have randomly because uh, the other variable is for the randomness of it, and uh, we did the randomness of the dropping in another episode. And of course, as an owner, we will recalculate the index, uh, so uh, this way we are sure to don't have any null referencing. Else, if you are alive now, so this means that um, this can be called uh, on uh, you when you have not died. Uh, we will simply uh, refill uh, the weapon if we have one. And if we don't have any weapon, uh, for example, the primary, we'll simply add it to the player. Uh, and I will re write the refill uh, refill little uh, function here. So the refill function is simply uh, very basic like this. So in here uh, we're gonna just go through every uh, player uh, weapon preferred that, that we have registered on the on the uh, player weapon and when we are have the id matching we will simply uh, remember about this prefab we will determine if uh, it's a primary slot or a secondary slot and we will simply the uh, refill the mm, the state uh, with the prefab uh, weapon stats magazine and total magazine okay so pretty simple uh, i think uh, we have done everything here Let's uh, see what we have uh, forgotten about. We have forgotten about uh, simply compiling here in order to have the uh, state dot is dead. Uh, yeah, so you are happy now. Please be happy. Be happy. Yeah, nice. So Unity is happy now. And of course, what we want uh, to uh, is in the classes, we want to uh, give to our player rendering uh, the uh, weapon uh, view in order to be sure that everything is correctly done. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, uh, before building the game, I forgot that uh, here we need to assign the username uh, in here. Uh, for the tag and uh, in addition uh, I think we need to do something uh, in our player motor because as a player when we are reducing the life we are not setting at any moment the player life yeah so uh, in order to set it uh, fairly it's pretty simple here state is dead equals true and voila 
so now if you build the game so as you can see uh, when we join when you join the game after these little changes that we did uh, you can spawn as a player you can see that uh, you can see your allies name uh, you can see though that uh, they have the same name because uh, if you have multiple instances of the game the only way to make sure that every player will have another name is simply to connect first a player then a second one and at the end an, uh, a third one uh, why? Because they ha they share the same database and this means that uh, each time you uh, register a name in the database it will be simply erased uh, by the last one that you have registered. So yeah. Uh, so here if we kill a player uh, like uh, let's say an enemy player here like so you can see that weapons will fly around and everything you can see that uh, it will collide with the player itself but we are not uh, anymore interacting uh, physically with it at some point uh, you can see that you can pick up the weapons that are dropped from this player uh, let's uh, let's uh, say that i have uh, shot uh, three times here so uh, I'm lost which player is which okay nice so now if I kill this player here and I throw this weapon I can take it from the ground and you can see that it has shot three times and voila so we have made the uh, players to be uh, killed based on their life to drop weapons based on everything you know a basic death for a player uh, so there is another way of doing this i will uh, say to you how uh, now so the other way is simply to not uh, have a reference of the player and to destroy it so i will uh, it's simply to take the player and uh, this player instance we will uh, simply do a bolt network dot destroy on it but for an fps it's not the best way because uh, if you are not changes uh, it's class locked so you can't change uh, the classes in the game and everything this means that uh, you are forced uh, let's say forced by uh, a big word uh, uh, you can have the same uh, player uh, always in the memory so you don't need to instantiate it each time uh, it have died it's a simpler way to uh, to make things but uh, the smarter way is uh, with uh, simply uh, having a player uh, a value in uh, the is dead and then just simply uh, disabling uh, the uh, part that are made um, uh, for visuals so yeah uh, thank you for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed this episode because i uh, <laughs> didn't really enjoy it <laughs> you can see the uh, that uh, it's a pretty it's dinner time and uh, I am uh, really tired because I have several problems with this episode. But, you know, it's uh, it's for the science, like we say. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching at least. Uh, hope you uh, have a good day. And, yeah, so remember to code every day and see you soon. Vandala, what's that? It's a game in development by Sandstorm Game Studio, a young indie game studio which want to start their journey with an online fast FPS game. Vandada will be fast paced and easy to learn hard to master game. In this game your equipment will be based on 4 weapons or skills, 
chosen freely. We call them abilities, they compose your loadout. From rocket launchers to graplings, including toy guns filled with holy water, your choice is vast. Choices you will make will influence drastically your playstyle. In fact, our game balance is based on an ancient game that is thousand years old, the famous Rock, paper, scissors. Basically, when you are fighting, there will be situations in which you will have facilities to kill some loadout. But your opponents play the same game as you and they could have bonus damage against you as well. Right now you have 40 different abilities in order to create chaos in your game. Among these 90,000 combinations, I'm sure you will find the one you like. You will be also equipped with a gravity gun, which will allow you to move around the entire map without any difficulty. Your choice of loadout will also change the behavior of your gravity gun. So now, if you want to be the horse and the horseman, you can. But if you prefer to be Neo from Matrix, with a jetpack, it's possible. To have fun, with all these features, nothing could be simpler than a huge city in which zones will be designated to organize a zone capture game and at the same time a team deathmatch. Go ahead and vandalize this city, after all you are participating to Vandalele the Vandals Paradise! If you want to help us and see the project evolve and get released, follow us on YouTube, Instagram and Twitter.